Okay, um, <clears throat> the last one ran about 30 seconds long, so uh, got to make it up somehow. Uh, what we, uh, for the sake of time, I've gone in and um, I've done another vector logo on the tail using the same exact techniques as we learned here. You know, with using the width measurements, or you could just keep trial and error and free transform it by doing Control T or whatever. Uh, I've added all the text, the rest of the text. This again is just um, a real font. Um, I use bold, I think size 11 maybe, can't remember. But uh, just for the sake of time, I went ahead and did all that. So either way, they're all there. You can use your own fonts, whatever you like. It's, this is your world in the end, you know, do what you want to do. Right now, um, we're going to go ahead and do fine details. Like uh, we're going to make KLM's white door frames and the white under the warning labels. I'll show you a quick and easy way to do that. Um, door frames. What we're going to do then is um, find your door frame layer here. And uh, we're going to double click on it. Earlier, if you'll remember, we did a color overlay. Well, that's all we're going to do here. Double click, color overlay, and we're going to do white on the door frames. This way it doesn't mess up your door frame, and you can always uncheck it if you want to go back to gray. But here's our door frames white. Uh, the actual handles are door details. So in no basically they're set to multiply as you'll see here. You can set them to normal and it's going to look weird. So we'll leave it at multiply. <coughs> what you want to do is uh, make a layer in between door frames and door details. Basically it doesn't matter how many layers you have here but as long as it's underneath the door details make a new layer in there. In this case uh, we'll name it uh, white labels. And uh, what we're gonna do take your pencil tool because it's a little more precise set it to about size number two. And we're gonna zoom way in. A uh, cool way to pan around when you're slow instead of having to try to move that little bitty box is hold space and uh, you can paint it like that. And just let off. Okay, make sure you're painting on the white labels. Get your white color. And uh, basically, you're just going to paint it. Let's see here. Paint underneath it. It doesn't have to be real pretty, but uh, as long as you get the basics down, so it's somewhat uniform. And then, uh, same thing here for this one. All we're doing is making these warning labels stand out. Even though when you're zoomed in like this, it's just a blurry little square. But when you look at the plane in the sim, it looks like a blurry little square. <laughs> so uh, we'll go move the little slide bar here, go to the next one. <sighs> Sorry, some of this stuff is real monotonous. Like I said, if you have easier ways to do things, by all means, do them. You know, this is just to help those who don't have easier ways to do things, like I was at one time, and I'm just happy to be able to share what I've learned with other people. This little door, all it has is a warning label. Ah, if you make a mistake like that, just hit Control Z to undo. There you go. And the back door. That's what she said. Okay, here we go. Okay, yes. Almost done. Thank goodness, because uh, my eyes are starting to cross. Patience is the number one thing with painting aircraft. Go back to 100%. And now you have white labels under your doors. It looks more like the real jet. Just go back to your uh, move tool so you're not randomly painting things. And, uh, okay, we're about halfway through this 10 minute session. So we'll go ahead and go ahead and do our windows. So we'll 
get rid of that one. I need that picture that kind of shows the whole. This is a good one here. Shows the whole side. As you see in this picture, the only blank we have is the one window immediately after the second door. And then uh, if you look at another picture that shows even further back, uh, this one might, for the most part, yeah. You can see there are no more blanks. And we know for a fact it goes all the way to the back because we just did the flags earlier. So we only have one blank window on KLM, believe it or not. So it's already blank there. So we'll go through and uh, we will unblank these. This is real simple. Go to your windows. Make sure you're on the right layer. Do your little layer check that I do. Selection tool. Select a window. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. You see it's going to misalign it. Use your arrow key and align it perfectly with that one. Okay, little thing with moving. Using your arrow keys, you move one pixel at a time. If you hold Shift, you move ten pixels. I have went ahead in my Bortle, and uh, I know that each window is 30 pixels to the left and back four which makes it 26 pixels. So 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And you'll have exact spacing, which will help you when you do night layers. So we got that window there. Right click on it. I'm going to duplicate it. Hit OK. 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there we go. Go to your blank label uh, windows. Select that area there. We're going to just hit delete get rid of them so they're not messing up our frames control D to unselect there uh, we're normally we would uh, merge all these together but we still got one more window to cover so we'll just do it all in one whack here so uh, same thing select that window copy it and paste it it's already aligned that was lucky uh, one two and then move three four five and six to get the right spacing select the blank get rid of the blank so, we're going to merge these layers. We have uh, layer 8, layer 8's copy, and then layer 9, and they're all windows. So we will click on the bottom one, hold down on shift, click the top one, or you can click on the bottom, hold down control, and individually click. Right click on windows, merge layers. Every once in a while it'll do that. I can't remember, I think you got to go from the other direction. But if it changes the name, you can always just go to your layer properties and name it back windows or you can just leave it layer 8 but uh, <clears throat> it'll confuse you later on down the road when you quit painting and then start back again like I do all the time so um, anyways now we have our windows correct so we got correct windows correct door frames correct warning labels we have all our logos in place including the tail everything is ready to go so the left side is essentially complete so we're ready to um, copy everything to the right side so uh, we'll go ahead and stop here and uh, we'll pick back up while we're copying to the right side